it is that time of the month again. And this time you are experiencing diarrhea alongside with your period. The question that is likely going to come to your mind is, why is it that sometimes I experience diarrhea during my period and sometimes I don't? Or why is it that I usually experience diarrhea during my period, but my friend, my sister does not experience diarrhea during her period? And another question that is likely going to come to your mind is, how do I prevent diarrhea from popping up during my next period? Or how do I treat this diarrhea when it happens? So if this question is going through your mind, this particular video is for you. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as the nurse with a difference. And I definitely make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. So today we're going to be answering the questions which I listed at the very beginning. But before I start answering that question, I want to let you know that having diarrhea during your period is common. You are not alone in this. A lot of women out there during their reproductive age have diarrhea during meses. Yes. Then that takes us to the first question. What causes this diarrhea during meses? It is believed that the cause of diarrhea during meses is as a result of a particular hormone in the body called prostaglandin. Yeah, prostaglandin. An increase in the amount of this prostaglandin is likely going to cause diarrhea during meses. This prostaglandin secretion actually increases, it's actually highest during your meses. And you may want to ask, what does this prostaglandin do during the meses? This prostaglandin is responsible for the contraction of the uterus. For example, this is your uterus. If it contracts, it contracts, it contracts. Definitely the secretions, the blood in the uterus is going to come out through the vagina. But if it doesn't contract, it might find it difficult to come out through the vagina. So the major cause of this hormone, prostaglandin, is to contract the uterus so that your menstrual, your menstrual uh, flow, your meses, is going to come out into the pad. So same effect this prostaglandin has on the uterus, it's similar to the same effect it has on the bowel, on the small intestine. So it's going to contract your intestine. It's going to make it faster. It's going to contract the intestine so that the fecal matter can actually go out quickly than it normally does. So same effect the prostaglandin is having on the uterus, that prostaglandin is having on the intestine. And that makes diarrhea to happen. And this same prostaglandin causes an increase in electrolyte secretion, in water secretion. And when that happens, definitely diarrhea is going to take place. This also reduces the rate at which the intestine absorbs food, at which the body absorbs food. And when that happens, you tend to experience diarrhea. So one of the major causes of that diarrhea during meses is as a result of a hormone known as postal glandin. And also pain, stress can actually result in diarrhea during your meses. So for those that are asking what could be the cause, this is likely going to be the cause. Then that takes us to the treatment you should put at the back of your mind if you are having diarrhea during period. And the first one you should take note of is to take as much fluid as you can. Because at that particular moment, you know with diarrhea, you're losing a lot of fluid. The body is unable to reabsorb that fluid back into the body. Your body is losing a lot of fluid. So you have to replenish what is lost by taking a lot of fluid intake, by taking a lot of water intake during that period. Then the second thing that you should take at the back of your, at the back of your mind is avoid anything that is likely going to cause diarrhea, such as your food sweetener and your artificial sweeteners, spicy food, sugary food, dairy food, caffeine, anything that is likely going to cause diarrhea, you try as much as possible to stay away from it. Then the third thing that you should put at, your, at the back of your mind when it comes to treatment is 
taking some over counter anti diarrhea medication, anti diarrhea medication such as loperamide. So you can get loperamide over the counter and take it for your diarrhea during that particular period. And another thing that you should put at the back of your mind is also to take some painkillers, some over-counter painkillers, such as ibuprofen. Like Ella said, if you're having menstrual cramp, you're having pain, that can actually also increase the symptoms of the diarrhea you are having. Then the other thing you should put at your mind is stress. If you know you are stressed out during this period, it's advisable you reduce the amount of stress at that particular moment because an increase in that stress level is going to increase your menstrual symptoms, not just the diarrhea, but also menstrual calm. So it's advisable we try to manage stress. Look for a way to manage stress. I've talked about stress management on my YouTube channel. Look for a way that suits you, that can help you manage stress. Because if your stress is effectively managed properly, then your menstrual symptoms is likely going to reduce a bit. So I want you to take that at the back of your mind when it comes to diarrhea in a, in, during your period. Then that takes us to how do I prevent it? I don't want it to happen. Sometimes it's not what you can prevent, but these are some tips that are likely going to help you. And the first one is having a lot of food rich in fiber during your meses. If you know your meses is coming, it's close by, you stop those sugary products, you stop those things that are likely going to activate or aggravate your intestine to actually um, be, have diarrhea. You stop them and eat more of vegetables and eat more of fruit during that period. And you can also take some food that has probiotics, such as your yogurt, because they help to like make the healthy, the good bacteria in your gut actually grow effectively well. So taking yogurt before your meses is going to go a long way to reduce that diarrhea. And also increasing your fiber food intake, your fruits and vegetables is going to go a long way to increase to decrease the diarrhea, I mean. So then that takes us to the question that people keep asking, why do some experience diarrhea and others do not experience it? What I want to let you know is that it is not known. They don't really know, like, they don't really know the cause, why some experience it and why some they don't experience it. Same way some experience heavy menstrual cramp and some they don't experience heavy menstrual cramp. So that is just how it is not known why some experience it and why some don't experience it. But for me, I think for those that experience menstrual cramp, they are at higher risks of having this um, diarrhea because generally menstrual cramp is as a result of increased prostaglandin in the body. You get it's increased prostaglandin during this menstrual cycle. So I feel if you're having menstrual cramp, you are also going to be, you are also likely going to have um, diarrhea during your meses. So I hope I've been able to answer this question and I hope I, I, it is beneficial. So if you have any question, kindly drop on the comments section. Like you can see, we're going to be uploading like a lot of videos in the next days back to back. And we're going to be taking as much questions on each videos within a week. After a week, it will be difficult for us to take questions on that particular video. So thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Messy Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.